Spain's socialist PSOE party has won the country's general election, but fallen short of an absolute majority in Parliament by 53 seats. This could be secured by forming a coalition with the centre-right Ciudadanos, a Catalonia-based party which opposes the region's independence from Spain. However, Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez is considering a left-wing governing alliance with Unidas Podemos. PSOE supporters see this option as preferable. Pues mañana eh, espero que España se levante feliz y contenta con visiones de futuro y que se sienten con Pablo Iglesias en negociar en vez de con Albert Rivera. However, this partnership would fall short of an absolute majority by 11 seats, requiring the support of minority parties, most likely Catalan pro-independence ones, a move which could anger Spaniards from across the political spectrum. Que nos hagan parte de España es lo que no aguanto de los socialistas, sobre todo de Pedro Sánchez. The other big winners on the nights were the anti-immigration Vox Party. Formed just five years ago, they secured 2.6 million votes and became the first far-right party to enter Congress since the death of dictator Francisco Franco in 1975. The party promises to defend Spain from what it sees as its enemies, including feminists, liberal elites and Muslims. Bienvenidos a la resistencia. Seguimos adelante. Seguimos sin miedo a nada ni a nadie. Seguimos por España. ¡Viva España! Vox's success came at the expense of the established centre-right Partido Popular, which suffered its worst ever general election result, a drop of 69 seats to just 66. It follows an ongoing corruption scandal which led its then leader and Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy being ousted by a no-confidence vote in June 2018. Following the general election in December 2015, it took 10 months and another election to form a government from a fractured Congress. Spaniards will hope that this year's results do not end in a similar deadlock. I'll get that